Hello Bobcats, welcome to the video tutorial on how to use Britannica ImageQuest, one of the cool tools you can use for your social studies project on ancient and modern China. This database is available to all middle school students in MCPS, but you'll need a password to use it from home, which you can get through Edline. Okay Bobcats, let's get started. Britannica ImageQuest will be a great resource for your social studies project. The database has over 2 million pictures, drawings, and maps for students to use for projects. Looking at great pictures can be an excellent way to get inspiration, so if you haven't picked your topic yet, this is a great place to start. You might be wondering, what's the big deal? I can get pictures from the internet anytime I want. Well, that's true, there's a lot of sources of pictures to use on the internet. But just remember, you have to make sure that you have permission from the owner. That's not always easy. And also, you need to make sure you give credit where it's due by citing it in your bibliography. And well, that's not always easy to figure out either. That's where ImageQuest can come in handy. All of these pictures are from professional collections where the copyright owners have already given you permission to use their stuff. So you can download these images without infringing on anyone's rights of ownership. Ready to start searching? First, let's look over this main page here. I have some choices. I can search by subject here, or by collection here. Both of those look interesting, but they might not be the best. Let's try a keyword search. Hmm, how about ancient China? Let's see, almost 1,500 images. That search might be too broad. Let's go with something more specific. Chinese inventions. See what we get. 21. That might be a little bit more manageable. An earthquake detector. That looks kind of cool to me. Maybe it's something from a museum. Let's take a closer look at it. Take a look at this page. There's a lot of information here. First, there's a caption, which tells you a little bit about what's going on in the picture. Here you can see ways that this image has been tagged. That's a list of all the keywords in the database that bring up this image. So if you take a look there, we might get some ideas on ways to expand our search and find more pictures similar to this one. Next up, this is a very nice feature. It creates a citation for this image. That's right, even though these images have been cleared for use, you still need to include a citation in your report. But this makes it easy, doesn't it? I can just copy and paste this into my Word doc or into Noodle Tools. Down along here, you'll see some further information about the photo, including the copyright. To gather and organize your photos, use these features. You can print a picture by clicking here or email it by clicking here. When you're browsing, you can click here and add it to the light box. Let's check that out. I'll select a few of these images. Now we have a collection that we can look at in more detail in the light box. Notice how if I hover over them, I can read the captions. Hmm, there certainly are a lot of interesting inventions from ancient China. Let's see, I probably don't need all these pictures, but let's just pick a couple. This image also looks cool. It's kind of like my original choice, I think. I can either download or email all of the images or just the ones I selected. The images are downloaded to my computer in a zip file. That's a way to compress large files into small ones for sending over the internet. Then I can open the zip file, find the images, and copy and paste them into my project folder. So just to review, you can search by subject, by category, or by keyword or phrase. You can save multiple images in the light box or just one. Look for the citation for your image, map or chart here, and copy and paste it into your bibliography tool or Word doc. And that's how you use Britannica ImageQuest. Happy searching and good luck with your project.